Hello and welcome back here on Assetto Corsa HTC layout number one got a bit of a visual upgrade We're gonna take a look at that here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media We're gonna be rocking the HDC 350Z that I've been working on and if you guys want more information about the HTC Championship and their competition things of that nature make sure you guys check it out down in the description box below as well I'll leave a link for their information. So let's get to it Like I said, the HDC layout number one did get a bit of a visual update, as you can see. Big thank you to Hexer and all of them for hooking me up with it. So, not only is there stuff in the parking lot now, we it is um, in the dark, which makes the Z perfect for this aspect, with my blue underglow and everything like that on this car. So let's take a little bit of a cruise through it, like we did last time. As you can see, there's a lot more glowing bits in the track. We got a lot of purple glow, we got a lot of light poles and things of that nature, you know, coarse lightings and things which make this a lot cooler in the aspect of visually appealing. So, another thing I did notice, uh, if you guys noticed in, oh, well, we'll have to take that out again. If you guys didn't notice last time in certain sections where there was kind of the track went above the wheels and things of that nature, it looks like it's all gone, I haven't seen it since then. We're not going to go all the way, you know, through the circle, but as you can see, the purple lights. My favorite section, of the course, the Bach turns are definitely lit up and very cool. So, there's a lot of cool aspects that have been changed on the track. So, we're going to go take this thing sideways in the Z, get some more practice with it. And like I said, my blue underglows and everything make for this nighttime style a lot better. So... Let's line up the line and get our run in in the nighttime section. Clutch kicked in and I thought I was going to hit the uh, kick. So we threw that a little bit too hard. I tried to get a little bit too uh, aggressive and saucy through that. For sake of that, we're going to be doing another run for sure, but I do love the lights and the aspects of all the neon poles and things of that nature. Try not to hit anything this time. Oh, I don't think I have my tires set correctly. I think I'm having them set a little bit too grippy right now. Yep, I think I have my tires set a little bit too grippy. As you can see, we are kind of falling out of drift. So let's hop back to pits and try and adjust our pressures because they look to be a little bit too grippy. Let's go to tires. I'm going to bump those up, actually. Make sure we're at 100% boost. All right, now we can give it a full another shot. All right, second attempt, different tire pressures and everything. Let's go full send. Not overthrow it through there, there we go. Kind of locking up the front brakes a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now the grip level's kind of where I want it to be. As we wash out there so visually this track looks so much better with the you know lights and everything changed up on the track it looks much more aggressively fun in for like a Gymkhana style competition like I said this car suits this well now with the way my livery is designed my number on the top is kind of glowing in a sense through certain lights 
And of course we have, you know, the underbodies and everything on the Z. Z seems a little bit gripped up. I'm wondering if it's a time frame that I have set the course to. I wonder if that's going to make a big difference. So definitely going to have to find out what the uh, time frame we should be running on is because if that is the case on the online server, it's going to make a bit of a difference when we go into actually running the course. Because the grip levels are going to be way different. So, going to manage tires for grip levels and things of that nature. Not the smoothest run, but a fun run nonetheless. Oh, taking out all those pylons at the end. So let's take a look at the run from the overhead aspect because, well, there's, there's the visual appeal of it from, say, an overhead view, which we're going to go back to the beginning where we started. I think, was this it? Nope, that was where we were too gripped up. All right, so let's take a look at the overhead and kind of digress this, that supercharger whine it's so loud in this car. Got to work a little bit on smoothing out my hand motions a little bit, a little bit twitchy. Don't want to be that twitchy. But it's definitely, oh, and we're locking the front brakes up. So we're going to have to do some tweaking to the front brakes of this car because we're kind of locking them up in that aspect. So I need to probably lower the braking pressure. That's kind of when we sent it a little bit too far. I'm going to have to lower the brake pressure because I'm noticing major lockup in the front, which could be messing with my change of angle and things of that nature. It's funny, you see here from the front of the car, all supercharger. And then when it's backwards, you just hear all exhaust on this 350Z. That was kind of hesitant coming out of there. I was in the wrong line. This was a little bit tighter than I probably could have ran it. Then we ran it a little bit wider, but able to draw some uh, nice smooth lines with the Z. And uh, throw so much smoke into the mix. So I don't think we looked at the replay of this last time we did the track. So seeing it from above, it's definitely a fun looking track. And the visual changes they've made is 10 out of 10, definitely uh, a good change for this track. So, like I said, if you guys want more information about the HTC competition, make sure you guys look down in the description box below. I leave their Facebook page and everything down there. You can get more information and see if you guys want to join in yourself. I believe it is a full public competition. You just got to register. So, oh, we got way saucy with those barrels and tires at the end of that run. So we kind of uh, nixed everything at the end of that, but... Nonetheless, definitely like the visual upgrades that are going on in this track. So I feel like we should go and get another full run. And maybe try and not uh, take everything out on our run. Oh, that's a misshift don't want to do that in competition that's why usually my comp cars are run in a sequential gearbox because I don't want to accidentally run into the miss shift even though my shifter was in fourth but it wanted to register that it was in third so I may switch this car to a dog box transmission and run it in sequential mode with a clutch Okay, we're just taking all the tires out now. Oh, and everything in the front. Yeah, I think 
the weather or the time frame that I've chosen has changed dramatic levels. So it's something that I'm going to have to find out what the time they're going to run the track because it's going to oh, make a big difference and we're not going to want to do that in a competition. So I think that'll do it here for this episode. If you guys like the visual aesthetics, let me know down in the comments. Think I might change the undergo color? Unsure. So let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.